never be enough Well, let's go back to the beginning How will this be the end of us? Dance. I can't dance. I'm just standing. Jay's dancing, dancing man. <laughs> <laughs> we got Mr. J. Big up on that one. We got Mr. J. What's happening? But you're Josh. Yeah. And you're Jay. He's the real Me. Jay. But you're both Jays. Yeah. Both Jay. What on earth have you two brought down today? Because it looks pretty special. We have brought you down a PS13 built by Spirit Re. Spirit Re is quite a sort of famous company in Japan. And this is the original sort of number one demo yeah, car the built by them. Master car. It was originally the demo car. So it started off as a, I'm pretty sure like pretty much a shell. The car was originally white. Non-turbo. Um, yeah, oh, so non it was a spec, spe or NA originally. Yeah, yes. NA. Yep. So it was an SRDE automatic as well. And then, I don't know, they ripped it all out and- Transformed it yeah, into, into transformed this bad into what it is now. The front of this car, Jay, is very sort of radical, isn't it? Because it's yeah. basically using the I mean, headlights out of a Honda Odyssey. Yeah, I mean, if you Google a Honda Odyssey and you look <laughs> at actually what it is, it's pretty much like a people carrier. Yeah, they literally are people carriers, yeah, aren't they? And you just think, that would never in a million years work, but it does. Pretty wild conversion. So the headlights are from a Honda Odyssey. Yeah. But the, the bumper and everything else? The bumper and wings are the original PS13. It's just some modifications sort of here to get like the swage line and obviously on the lights right. Yeah, to sort of make it flush. Yeah, flush basically, bit. yeah. Yeah. It um, looks really striking. Body kit on this is a full spirit re kit. Yeah. I've been on their website and when you select like say the wings or the rear quarters it shows you this car ah. which is pretty cool let's just run through the wheels on these as well uh josh yeah so ssrs I mean, yeah ssrs um the fronts are nine and a half i believe um 18 inch yeah uh the rears are 19 inch oh cool so, so you've got inch, staggered, staggered yeah setup. um inch bigger we've done the brakes on it put some ebc yellow stuff in um just like maintenance stuff really we yeah. haven't gone like a majorly all out on it just making it drive better yeah. so when we first got it it was literally all, all over, over the, the road shop, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now you can actually sit there with the steering wheel going straight yeah comfortably yeah and it's actually i was saying to him on the way down like every car i've ever driven like jab car like it's rattling like mad you're going down the road it's breaking your back and this actually doesn't rub like i was shocked at, at how well it drives really i mean you can even see on the back window you still got the old the original spirit oh, yeah, stickers spirit, on yeah, it yeah, yeah, cool. like you can see it how like, patinaed they are yeah the one thing I have just spotted as well is mad stereo, but we will go on to the interior yeah. in a little bit because that looks pretty exciting. This is how the car looked in the graphical representation, and that's how it looks now. Pretty, pretty similar. She's got quite a bit of girth on the old rear quarters, haven't <laughs> yeah. they? So, what size are the rear quarters on this? That's 75 mil. 75, yeah. they're quite big. So, yeah. And the front wings? The front wings, I'm uh, pretty sure they're 75 as well. 75 as well, yeah. okay. And obviously they need quite a wide wing to fit these monster SSRs in. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So this is basically the original colour here, yeah. which isn't actually, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not vastly different, is it? Nah. It is. I mean, it's always quite it hard is, to match, because yeah. it's kind of custom colour as exactly well. Exactly that, yeah. We Obviously we weren't sure on the colour it was from when it came over. Yeah. And we were told that when the guy had it painted, that was the closest match they could find to it. Um, so he went ahead, but I like the fact that he's obviously left yes, that. He's left, left that like the original plaque on it. Yeah, it's almost like a little bit of history. And what's the nickname for this? It's called an Od Odvia. Od Od yeah, Odivia. 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 Right. Something like that. Odivia. Or a Sil Sylvia de C. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you guys bought the car, there was a lot of sort of stickers all over the interior. Yeah, so the door cards here on the side, the rear seat delete, the rear door cards 
and we're all sticker bombed from what we've been told. Um, and then the guy just said it just looked a bit dated, so he just wanted it to bring it into like kind of the 21st century. Yeah, kind of sort of so, freshen it up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, so he just he just basically just had it all flocked, um, just straight black, which I think just it looks so smart in it. You it does. think like this is like nearly 30 years old now. Yeah, and it's really sort of really sort of freshened up the yeah, interior, isn't massively. it? Massively. And even the dash isn't very good, Nick, because you know yes, over no, time the dash is getting cracked. New dash as well. Oh, it's had a new dash. Yeah, yeah. New dash. Oh, fair um, play. The old, the old one had the bubbles in it and that's right. everything like that. Yeah, that's cool. Man. Sunroof works. Oh it's yeah, and you got a, yeah. and a working sunroof oh, as well. You know it. Stereo in the back, quite old school now because we don't really see a lot of cars with sort of boot install. It's not nah, a boot install, it's a rear install. The last car you probably see that in was maybe a Saxo. <laughs> <laughs> What's the stereo like? Does it work? It, uh, it, technically, like it does work, yeah, but this one, the rear speakers don't. Ah, and okay. It's all in Japanese and I can't speak. I can't speak let alone read Japanese no. so. but it looks pretty neat and it's all Rockford Fosgate it looks like it's all been done quite tidily oh, yeah. yeah it's the whole system um, like, like I said the door door speakers and subs they're all matching so I'm guessing it's like a package they bought maybe or yeah. something like that and Pretty cool because yeah. not not only can you go and do a skid and you can look cool yeah. at a car show, but you can <laughs> smash out some bagging beats as well. <laughs> <You know it. laughs> smash out some BMW. Quick little look in the boot. Now I take it you've got some sort of air suspension on this. Yeah, so it's got um, 50 mil razors on the front yeah. just to get us over speed bumps and stuff. Because as you see, when it's down, it's low. You've got the compressor for the air cups down here. Yep. That's your tank. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, your little gauge. It's a little gauge, yeah. Yeah, cool. And I'm taking it, that is a sub and amp. It is, yeah. yeah cool. <laughs> well, I, I actually really like music, as you've probably told from my video, so I quite like yeah. decent stereo. I do, I must admit, I do like a stereo in these cars. As much as the sound of the engine is, like, amazing, it is nice to have a bit of music. Just going to do a quick little demonstration of the suspension. There we go. Oh, man, I need that in my car. <laughs> that is so cool. Sick, man. Engine on this is obviously an SR20 DET. Yeah, straight cam. What so, turbo is this running, Jay? So 2860, uh, roller bearing. Nice. Um, Z32 MAF, uh, super turbo manifold. And exhaust? Uh, handmade by Spirit Re, the exhaust. Annoyingly, we hit on the speed bump and it's now got a hole in it. Oh no! <laughs> has it got loads but, of pie cuts in it? Is it how's it built? Yeah, it's, um, so, well, basically most of it's heat wrapped, so you can't really, really see. see. Um, but from what I see, they have like made it so it sits up in the car. Really flush. Yeah. yeah. So obviously you don't smash it on anything, but yeah. somehow we did. <laughs> <laughs> so. And and what size is the exhaust? Um, three inch. Three inch all the way yeah. through. Okay, cool, man. And then injectors on this? Uh, five fifty. Five fifty. Yeah. And ECU? Uh, Nitching. Oh, it's got Nitching. Yeah, Nitching okay. ECU. Engine internal wise, you got a set of cams? Yeah, it's got the Tomai cams on it, um, or however you spell it, the Pong cams. Pong cams, yeah. Yeah. Um, and ported head. Um, that's pretty much it like for as far as I know it's standard bottom end yeah I, I couldn't tell you if it is or not without obviously taking it apart yeah we've done a little introduction on the car should we take it out for a little spin yeah let's take it for a spin doing them clutch kicks <laughs> you kind of need to with these four pots because sometimes they kind of get out of boost don't yeah. they you got to kind of kick the clutch just to sort of raise them get the revs back up again like it does fly this thing i'm quite surprised goes, actually yeah for, that's what i mean for what it is oh. you oh, think though yeah. no, hks turbo cams it, yeah. port and polish on the heads they have done a very good job setting this up yeah it's been it's been set up really nicely What's quite mad is that we're driving around in something which originally was, I mean, it's a Spirit Re demo car. Yeah, it was, yeah. It's mad to think that that was all in Japan at one stage, having loads of photo shoots, yeah, and now we're in England mad. driving yeah, it. It's driving mad. it around, it's crazy. Yeah, really well, exciting, When you look man. at the pictures of it, like on Google Images and stuff, you see it, like, on the red carpet kind of thing at the Tokyo Auto Salon. 
did he let in anything? Fucking hell, it's amazing. Now, then, uh, now that's gone by drive. drive in that yeah, car. it'd be interesting to see how d how similar this is to uh, Jake's one. That's got because that's the one it, thing I'm. His very one's very mad though. Yeah. It's like 20 inch wheels on the back, 19s, and it's got Lambo yeah. doors and stuff. I'm really interested to see that. I mean, the video, no, the picture, sorry, that you put up of this. He commented saying that um, he wanted to do a photo shoot. Yeah, yeah. So it'd be good to get them together. Yeah, man. I'm really interested to have a look at this one. It's quite mad that I know two people closely that have both got Spirit Re demo yeah. cars. It's pretty <laughs> mad, isn't it? What's it like for Duggets as well? Because you like you like it well. Your mate John likes a little Duggett every now and again. He does, yeah. <laughs> it's tempting, I'm it's probably hard to not drift this. I mean, it is very hard. It's got it's all the formula to skid it, but then it's so clean, you don't really want to skid it, do you? That's the thing, like, the Skyline, I'll just smash it about, I'm not yeah. really bothered. But this, I'm, I'm very cautious of it. <laughs> It's a lot of compressor surge as well, a lot of noise, isn't yeah, it? I love it. Oh, Evo. We've got an Evo at the petrol station. What's that? An F? I don't even know what they are anymore. Is that an FQ4? 450? FQ450? I don't know, they made an FQ450, FQ did they? It's Evo 10. Mmm, uh. V-Power! We've got all the JDMs today, man. <laughs> it's quite mad, because obviously these have all got regular paint jobs on them. You kind of see how crazy this car does look. You lose yourself in that fuel cap, don't you? It's so far to go in. Like it goes to my wrist. What's quite cool about this as well is the guys originally had a, it was an NA Auto, wasn't it? And they yeah. kind of transformed it into this sort of mythical beast. Probably don't realise this as well, but my S15 is actually originally a Spec S. Yeah, so I never knew that. So mine originally came that, yeah. with a uh, SR20 DE as well. But someone's converted Great. it over time to sort of Spec R, Spec R Spec, <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> Saying Josh, this was originally built for the 2009 Tokyo yeah, Auto it's, Saloon or Salon, yeah, whatever it's called. It was, oh, it was 09 or 2010, I'm pretty sure it was 09. So it was built for that show. Um, so basically, Spirit Re could show off what they could do to a yeah, car. Like a sort of dem company demonstrator. Yeah, so they basically built this to show to everyone, like, obviously, look, this is what we can do. Um, and then after that, they used it as a demo car again to drives to different shows different and, events yeah, and, stuff. and to tell people like that we're Spirit Reed, this is our car kind of thing. Yeah, and yeah. you were saying it did a few skids as well which is quite cool, hence all the tubs and stuff on the front. Yeah, as far as I know, yeah, I've got a picture on my phone of it hanging smoke <laughs> it. Well it's definitely done a few skids today. Yeah, it's only a couple, that's our journey, isn't it? We've been pretty lucky with the weather today, it is getting a bit grey. Yeah, I'm kind of shitting myself. Yeah, Josh is a bit scared man, so we're going to start heading back, <laughs> just in case the baby gets a bit wet. But that's understandable, man. These cars are very old and rust is the biggest thing with an old Nissan like yeah. this. They fall apart with water. Um, so I can understand why you're sort of so precious about it. And it's a huge amount of money as well. Yeah. It's a big investment. It's just the fact that it's the master car and I want it to live on. I don't want it to basically rot away. Yeah. Jay's actually going to be at Jackfest. Yeah, Jackfest, Silverstone. Silverstone um, with the car this year. So if you guys want to head down there and sort of check it out in in person feel free i'll put a um, link to jay's instagram down here so if you guys want to give him a follow and keep up to speed with the build feel free massive thanks to josh for bringing the car down really appreciate it bro no problem. as always i hope you guys enjoyed this video and we look forward to seeing you soon